and the I2, U2 uh, economic forum and so on, which was held back, I guess, in, in, on fe February 22nd of this year. And uh, at the time, uh, yeah, Under Secretary of State for Economic Growth, Energy, and Environment, Jose Fernandez, you know, talked about, you know, projects like rail and pipeline and other things. I wonder if you could update us on this. What is the status of this? Sure. The, the work uh, on those fronts continues. You've seen the Under Secretary speak for, to it on a number of occasions, the National Security uh, advisor Jake Sullivan has spoken to it, as has the secretary. Um, I, we are in steadfast, we are, uh, 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 remain committed to our work to deepen the Abraham Accords and forge new coalitions like I2U2. Mm -hmm. um, the unique grouping of countries in this um, partnership, India, Israel, the United States, and the mm -hmm. UAE, uh, identifies projects and initiatives to tackle some of the greatest challenges confronting the world. Uh, it's attempting to mobilize private sector and enterprise to uh, modernize infrastructure, advance uh, low carbon development pathways, improve pub uh, public health, and we continue to work to make progress in all of those areas. Okay, so uh, it would be under the umbrella of the Abraham Accords, uh, and what is the role of India in this case? I mean, we know that the U.S., Israel, and the UAE are part of the Abraham Accord, but the, how does India fit in? The role of India, I said, I said, um, uh, mm -hmm. we work on the Abraham Accords and forging new coalitions forging like the I2U2. Okay. Not saying it was part of the right. Abraham Accords. Okay. Uh, uh, India is a member of I2U2. Okay. And the other thing, there is a U.S. partisan bill that aims to, you know, enhance Israel's ability to, you know, to counter uh, Iranian.